Hiya, welcome to my Tempest tutorial. Before I begin, if you haven't watched my Core Elementalist tutorial, please do so first, because this video will focus on the specifics of playing the Tempest. The Tempest is an elite specialization of the Elementalist, and you will need the Heart of Thorns expansion purchased for your account for this specialization to be unlocked for you. It is, in my opinion, the easiest Elementalist specialization to learn as compared to the Weaver or the Catalyst. The Tempest is good for group content as a support or as a boss soloist like myself. You and your allies will gain access to a lot of boons just from you being a Tempest. There are two new features you will gain upon selecting the Tempest specialization. The first one is known as Overloads and the second one is known as Shots. So what are Overloads? Overloads are your Tempest profession skills at the default keybinds F1 to F4. You'll be able to use an overload after waiting for at least 6 seconds while remaining in an attunement. There are 4 types of overloads, each representing the 4 different attunements of your elementalist. There are many boons and benefits you could get from using an overload, but I'll keep it simple for this tutorial. The fire overload burns enemies around you, but I prefer using it for the fire field at the end to gain fight stacks and to finish it with a combo finisher for even more max stacks. The water overload is primarily used to heal allies and yourself. I like to use the air overload for area damage and feel like a goddess. The earth overload grants you stability and protection throughout its cast time and deals a little bleeding to enemies around you. It also gives you a magnetic aura you could use to reflect projectiles coming your way. There are six shots granted to you as a Tempest. In no particular order, the first one is Wash the Pain Away. It's good only if you focus on good peels. I would recommend the Signal of Restoration otherwise. The second one is Eye of the Storm. It is used to break out of a stand for yourself and allies. It also gives you super speed. The third is Aftershock. I like to use it to reflect projectiles and immobilize enemies around you. It also works as a blast finisher. The fourth shot is Flash Freeze. I like to use it for a small amount of heal and to freeze enemies around you, as well as granting yourself a force aura for some damage reduction. The fifth is Fear of the Burn. I use it for some max attacks as well as some burn damage to enemies around you. Lastly, the Elite Shot Rebound allows you and your allies to survive a lethal blow within its 5 second duration. Otherwise, it grants you and your allies an aura based on your current attunement when the 5 second ends. In this segment, we will talk about the Tempest trait line. The very first trait here is the Singularity. This is the trait that grants you all your elemental overloads as a Tempest. Remaining in attunement for 6 seconds grants you the ability to overload that attunement. Gale Song grants a few seconds of protection to allies and yourself when you use your healing skill. Latent Stamina grants vigor to allies and yourself when you attune to water and restores their endurance anytime you grant them vigor. Unstable Conduit grants you an aura based on your overload attunement after the overload has been completed. And as part of a fixed trait being a Tempest, your concentration is increased from gathered focus. Tempest towards area allows your shots to grant everyone might and inflict weakness on enemies. Harmonious Conduit allows you to overload in peace because it grants you stability while you're casting your overload. It also grants you swiftness so you can move around faster while overloading. Invigorating Torrents allow your auras to also give vigor and regeneration. I say it's pretty good for sustain. The next fixed trait as a Tempest is Hardy Conduit. It grants you protection while you're casting your overloads and increases the damage reduction from protection by about 20%. Transcendent Tempest reduces the time it takes to be able to overload when you're freshly attuned to attunement, from 6 seconds down to 4 seconds. Lucid Singularity 
grants alacrity to everyone when you have completed an overload. Lastly, Elemental Bastion heals allies for a small amount when you grant them an aura. When you stock below 75% health, you grant Force Aura to allies. I don't really have a heal combo, I grant myself auras for the regeneration and cast a lot of skills to get the passive heals from the heal signet. You should avoid getting damage as much as possible, so you minimize the need to heal at all. I don't specialize in support tempest and would be unable to advise. When you cast Rebound, it grants you a 5 second rebound buff. If you take a lethal strike during that 5 seconds, you are healed instead. However, if that buff runs out naturally, you and your allies are granted an aura based on your current attunement, not the attunement when you first casted Rebound. So for example, I could be on fire, cast Rebound, and switch to Earth just before Rebound ends that will grant me magnetic aura for projectile reflect instead of a fire aura. I feel good.
running low. So tip number one, keep moving. This keeps up your APM, actions per minute, and greatly helps with your momentum. Tip number two, keep switching attunements. An elementalist is not designed to remain in a single attunement. Tip number three, avoid damage. Use your dodges, but do not abuse it. And do not use your dodges to reposition yourself unless you absolutely have to. Save your dodges for the big attacks. Tip number four, with the energy sigil, switch to an attunement to regain some stamina to dodge. An attunement switch counts as a weapon switch. Tip number five, Cancel your overload by hitting the escape key, dodging, or switching to another attunement if you have to. Sometimes I do need to cancel my overload just to dodge a massive attack from the enemy. Do not be stubborn and insist on finishing your overload when you can't. Tip number six. Lastly, an elementalist is not weak. Thank you for learning my number one favorite class. Have a nice day.